today I'm going to tell you all about these screens that I have in my van. They are from Living in a Bubble. Um, they're not a cheap one, they're quite an investment that you would make, but the quality is there. Uh, so I am going to tell you my thoughts about them, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, and what I wish they included. So uh, join me for that. Hey, welcome to another video. My name's Coralie, my channel is called Jump With No Fear, and today I'm going to show you the bug screens that I use on my van. They are from a company called Living In A Bubble. They're an Australian company. They make these really great quality bug screens. They're a bit of an investment because they're not cheap, but uh, you are paying for really top quality screens. I don't mind paying a bit of money if it's something that I feel is gonna be quality and is going to last. So I decided that I would invest in these. I'm going to tell you about the pros and the cons and things that I wish they might've included. Okay, the pros. Of course, the big one, no bugs. <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> um, it does keep the bugs out. Uh, as long as you've got it fitted nicely and you don't have any of the gaps between um, the gaps in the small magnets, which is pretty easy to do because you can just slide into place. As long as you've got some sort of metal on the inside of your van, which is my next point, because it's got the magnets, you can adjust it quite easily. You can fold little bits in as you need to and sort of fold it over and pull it one way and the other and it still fits with no gaps. As you can see at the back here, on the grass, <laughs> I have the excess uh, rolled up. It's literally just a broomstick. Uh, I think it might've been a Sabco broom and um, I have the broom head in there separately, which I sometimes use, but I rarely need the stick. And uh, I was storing it back here and then I thought this is perfect to roll up the excess with this. So I roll it up in there, whoops, and tuck the ends in. It's not ideal, but it works. Keeps it out of the way. It's also handy for if I want to access the back here, all I do is lift up the entire broomstick itself, rest it up here, and then I can access everything in back, including my pull-out drawer. And then I just pop it back down again and tuck those ends back in. One of the things I really like about the magnets is that it's very, very easy to remove it or reposition it. So if I would like some air to flow through or more air to flow through, I can literally just pull this down, either leave it like that or tuck it right under the edge of my mattress here if I want to get it out of the way properly. And then it's really easy to put back up here. Oops. And as you can see, it fits all different types of sizes. So I just pull the excess up here and then stick it into place like that. You can also access the back through this zip. It's actually a double-ended zip, so you can access it from the bottom as well. Obviously I don't because uh, it's rolled up in that broomstick. Now, only the back has the zipper access. I will show you the side. The side access is with magnets. And when you need to close it, most of it closes really well. The rest you can just sort of shake and it comes together. Nothing is um, held into place permanently, which I love. Which brings me to my third point, which is the fact that nothing is fitted permanently. So if you have some sort of emergency going on in your van, you can easily rip these screens right out of the way and just run out. The other advantage to nothing being permanently fitted and having magnets is that if anything sharp pushes against these or pokey, it's more likely to pull it down and come off rather than tear through the actual screen. Now, one thing I was disappointed with for the front window screens is that the straps that hold them on nice and tightly 
actually wick water in when it rains. So if you have weather shields or something on the on the side of like the, the top edge of your window and it's raining, the water's not going to drip straight in. However, the screen does get wet and because of those straps that go on the inside, I found that it actually does wick water down those straps and inside the vehicle. I solved that um, by hanging it outside the vehicle instead. they stay on just as securely. The second disadvantage is that screens limit airflow, but that's not just with these. Any screens limit airflow, you can't help that. You either have complete airflow and bugs or limited airflow and no bugs. The last disadvantage that I've found is that um, when I try to get through the side screen with, and I only have one hand, like if I'm carrying something, it is a little bit awkward to get through the magnetic closure with one hand. It's doable, but it's just a bit annoying. I'm not really sure there's a good solution for that. One thing that I wish they had included with this is little labels on the bags and the screens to indicate which side is which, like driver's side or passenger side, um, because the front screens look very similar when you're sort of pulling them out. My solution is just to make sure that if I take it off that side, I keep it on that side of the car. And if I take it off that side, I keep it on that side of the car. So it's fairly easily solved, but little labels would be really nice because if you take them off and need to wash them or something, then you sort of got to open them up and figure out which one goes where. It's not really a big deal, but it'd be a nice touch. I did actually buy mine um, hmm, well over a year ago now, I think. So I don't know if it's something they've included it you know, since then, but maybe it's something that they might include in the future. They're really very easy to fit and very easy to take off. and they store very well as well. Um, they just sort of either bunch up in a big ball or for the front windows, you can sort of fold the big magnets against each other, which is what I do. And then I roll it gently and then I shove it down the side, either in the mat pocket or just in the storage box that I have between the two seats. As for the quality, they're very thick. The quality is fantastic. Um, they're quite thick screens. Um, very solid and to tear them you'd actually have to be trying pretty hard. I've seen a lot of people with the very cheap magnetic screens from Bunnings and probably other places as well. They look pretty good however I have seen a lot of people having to repair them because they tear very easily. They're quite thin which is what makes them cheap I guess but you get what you pay for, right? Overall, I'm absolutely happy with my screens from Living in a Bubble. Um, very, very, very good quality. I couldn't fault it at all. Um, yes, the price is there, but you're paying for the quality. I have a link for you in the description and you can get a small discount if you like. I think it's 10% if I recall correctly. So uh, check the description and click on that if you're interested. Thanks for joining me for another video. If you liked this, please give it a thumbs up, hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. That would be great. Thank you so much to my patrons who have been supporting me for a while. Come and join my Patreon if you are into that sort of thing. I post there a little bit regularly, more about my personal thoughts and things. Um, and it's more in real time than my videos are. So uh, come and join me there if you like. There's a few different tiers you can join. Every tier gets the same benefits. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.